Hi, I'm Michael Schoen, and I did my project on one-way hash functions. So in cryptography, there are two main ways for people to conceal information, one being encryption, which is reversible, and hash functions, which are not. One-way hash functions have a few <coughs> unique properties that allow them to be used in high-level cryptographic uh, procedures. First of all, they compress data. So no matter how long of a string or uh, or sentence you give it, it will always return the same uh, number of bits. So for example, MD5 is a hash that will always return 32 characters of hexadecimal, which is 0 to 9 and A to F. Uh, another uh, property is that they are easily calculated, uh, they can be easily calculated. If you were to spend hours and hours to, to uh, hash a single sentence, the hash would not be practical as for uh, in, in use. People have to hash many things a minute, many things an hour. So they have to be easily calculated. Now, this doesn't have to be by hand because in today's cryptography, computers can easily be used to uh, for both ways, either to encrypt, encrypt or hash, or to break an encryption. Uh, a simple example of a one-way hash is addition. If you were to simply uh, convert A to Z to, uh, into numbers from 1 to 26, and then added all of the converted numbers into one big number, there's no way for an attacker to go from the number that is added together to the individual letters, because there are many possible ways for a number to be created with addition. For example, if I had a string that was cap, C, A, B. C would convert to 3, A convert to 1, and B to 2. If I were to add them all together, I would get 6. However, if an attacker were to receive 6, there's no telling if, I, you, if my sentence was C, C, or C, A, B, or simply 6 A's. Therefore, there's no one answer that an attacker can find uh, from a message digest or the output of a hash function. Now, additional fun uh, additional properties of functions uh, of one-way hashes are that they uh, are that they are collision resistant. Uh, the earlier example that I gave, simple addition, is not collision resistant. Collisions in hash functions are when you can find two inputs that hash to the same output. Uh, for example, a collision in addition would be three and three, and two and four. Therefore, cryptographically, addition is not fit for use alone. If you were to add other functions, such as mod, then perhaps you would have a more collision-resistant and cryptographically secure uh, function. The importance of being collision-resistant is that if an attack uh, is that if an attacker were able to find a second input that would hash the same output. Uh, they could potentially forge uh, signatures or uh, or, integ or fake integrity. Another uh, important property is that they are second pre-image resistant. Similar uh, pre-image resistant. Uh, if you were to be given an output, it would be difficult to find an uh, input that would hash to that. Again, the example of simple addition does not suit this, so therefore it is, again, not cryptographically secure. Because if I were to give six, people could easily spit out possible inputs that would give me six through simple addition, such as one and five, two and four, which is, again, uh, insecure. Also, second pre-image resistant, which is similar to collision and pre-image resistance, is that if you were to be given an input and an output, it would be difficult to find a second input that would hash, that would become a collision to the first input. Uh, finally, there is uh, the requirement of an avalanche effect. For example, if you were to change one bit or character in an input, it would change the output to drastically. In addition, this is not, this again is not uh, apparent because if you were to be given CAB or CAD, the difference of the output would be only one. However, with a real strong cryptographic uh, hash, the difference between the output of CAB and CAD would be huge. Some uses for cryptographic hashes include 
ensuring the integrity of download, downloads or files that you are given over the internet. Because there's no way to verify who is giving you information on the internet, you want to be able to be sure that the person, that, that the uh, information you are receiving is correct. So one way to do this with a hash is to have the distributor or the person running the server passing out the uh, downloads to hash their version and publish it. Then once you download their file or what you believe to be their file, you then hash it and then compare the two hashes. If the hashes match, then, then you can be sure that the two files are identical. If bits were lost in, in the download, then the hashes would be completely different. Or if even an attacker were to intercept the download, you could, be, you could uh, know that the download was not the same as what you were expecting to, to get. Mm -hmm. Another use is to uh, another use of cryptographic hashes is to store passwords. For when a person logs into an account, the input password that they give is compared to a password stored on a system. However, if an attacker were to find the stored password, they would be able to access the person's account. And if all the passwords were in one file, then the losses could be huge because they would have access to everybody's account on the system. Therefore, a way companies can uh, use hashes to, to hide this information is to, rather than store the clear text passwords, first use a hash to convert those clear text passwords into message digests or outputs. And then when, it, when a user tries to log in with the password, rather than compare the password, they immediately hash that and compare the hashes. That way, a user can believe that they have a certain password, but really the stored version of the password will not give an attacker any information, even if, even if they were able to break into the system. Uh, finally, you can use hashes to sign digital documents. Um, this is done with the help of asymmetric encryption, which is another way of hiding uh, data in trans transmission in, uh, in crypt cryptography. F uh, first, one party with a private key uh, distributes a public key. Then. Uh, then, and then he hashes the text and then appends it to the data. Finally, he would then use his private key to encrypt the data and then distribute the copy. When people receive the, uh, the data, they could use the public key to decrypt it and then compare the appended hash to the hash of the original document. One-way hashes uh, are useful in data transfer, both speeding up the process and securing it. They are easily accessible, however, some have been proven to be mathematically insecure, such as MD5. In 2005, researchers were able to uh, prove that MD5 has a mathematical weakness that would allow hackers to find collisions within minutes. Therefore, new, uh, new one-way hash algorithms were made, such as SHA-2, which is the current industry standard. However, uh, even more recent studies have shown that there is a possible weakness that could be exploited as well. So therefore, cryptography and cybersecurity in general is always a cat and mouse game where people must, uh, where defenders must continuously make the game harder for attackers, while attackers are always looking for weaknesses in the defender's uh, tools and defenses. The key to creating a safe internet is not to create the strongest tools, but I believe it is to educate the users so that they will be able to fully use the tools and, be, and understand what is safe and what is not. If everybody were to understand how to keep themselves safe, then the attackers could not, would not be able to find any vulnerabilities. How do people break, do you think you can have a, an unbreakable hash function? Um, I think that the easiest way to make a hash function harder to break yeah. is, first of all, to be careful when you uh, write the algorithm and okay. to try and eliminate as many weaknesses, that's, that's especially good. glaring weaknesses, as possible. Yeah. The more complicated it is, the harder it is for somebody to find a, weak, a weakness. However, if you make it more complicated, then computer, even computers might be slow in calculating them. Um, another way to eliminate weaknesses is to make the output longer. If you were to have an output of 32 characters of hexadecimal, then 
there are 32 to the 16th possi uh, possibly unique outputs. If you were to double that, then you would essentially be multiplying uh, 32 to the 16th by another 32 to the 16th, um, creating a, a much larger exponential growth of possible outputs. That way it would be more difficult to find collisions. Very good. Thank you.